So today I wanted to talk about blind spots in not just cars but in just any form of vehicle and I am thinking bikes, cars, four-wheelers, bigger buses and trucks, large four-wheelers and the general public's I wouldn't call it lack of understanding but a bit of misunderstanding about what the blind spot is like think about yourself your vision you have a straight focused vision um, human eyes will tend to only go so far uh, while you can focus on one thing straight ahead your peripheral vision can look at your surroundings and basically your blind spots are spots beyond your peripheral vision like when you look ahead you really can't see your ears can you though it's there like for a fact but you can't see and similarly when you look at a mirror in a car you can't see everything there are certain spots right behind the c pillar at the back the the part where the boot comes out where right beyond it you can't see it new cars have like blind spot detectors in them so that drivers can at least get an idea but the thing is when you look into a mirror you can't see it like it's just there but you can't see if a vehicle is in your blind spot and the thing is the bigger the vehicle the more bigger your blind spot is too and as a result you have to be very careful when you make sudden lane changes or like u-turns anything that has like a big turning you just have to be careful again modern cars with modern technology um uh, like today i have with me the series 3 that i'm test driving they do have blind spot detection and they can alert drivers hey this is what is going on you should be careful but most cars don't have that and so you just have to rely on your mirrors and your instinct uh, something you can add on in nepal is if you go to kulish or these car markets or even daraz for like i think two three hundred rupees you get like convex mirrors that are like this big a bit bigger and you can just stick it onto the side the outskirts of your side view mirrors and what that does is because it's a convex mirror whatever image that you are seeing on the mirror it'll it the the reflection surface will have an even wider point of view and so that typically covers your blind spot mirror blind spot in the car why i'm talking to you about blind spot today is because i've had a number of comments on my channel on tiktok and on instagram about each time i mention blind spot be careful always double check always look again in your blind spot is that people just don't believe there's a blind spot like i've even had someone comment um and i don't remember where this comment was but i just laughed at it because you can't say something like that and the comment was if you look good enough like if you repetitively look again and again and again you can see your blind spot there oh, but <laughs> the thing is if you could see it why would it be called a blind spot you know what i mean something drivers can also um do to overcome this is like actually turn around especially when doing u-turns but the thing is not everyone has a habit of doing that and i personally don't either on this I suddenly remember to do it like it's great if you make it a habit to actually just turn your head around but it's not always the case that it happens and you can get side swiped or rear ended in these situations especially when you're changing lanes at speed and why I'm seeing this is that there could be a vehicle in your left or right blind spot and when you suddenly change lanes thinking oh it's fine there's nothing there there could be something there <laughs> and that could be bad and the thing about vehicle types and blind spot is yes blind spots are there in bikes as well fortunately or unfortunately but the field view of bikes because you're riding in the open is that you can quickly see it with a quick glance at the back or just a side eye 
But the bigger the vehicle you come into, the harder it is to see this so-called blind spot. In cars, like I mentioned, they get a bit bigger. But what I want you to be most careful about are blind spots in a truck. They're all over. <laughs> Like, I know you think, oh, a truck driver sits high up, has a very towering, commanding driving position of, like, the entire road ahead and behind as well. But think again. The back of a truck is usually covered, and so you really can't see immediately what is behind a truck. Like, if you're right behind a truck, like, I would have no idea what's behind the boot of a truck. Like, in a car, I can see it. They have cameras in the cars. But in a truck, they usually don't. Uh, another thing that people really have a misconception about is that a truck driver can see everything in front of him. The fact is, a truck driver is sitting like two to three meters high sometimes, depending on the truck, and seeing right underneath the bonnet is so difficult. Like, you absolutely cannot see, unless a truck driver has like, like stretches forward and actually looks beneath chances are they won't be able to see like the rule of thumb is basically if you are crossing in front of a truck always leave a bit of a gap so that the truck driver can see you because if you cross right underneath his eye you might think you you might assume that the driver sees you but they don't and that is where accidents happen which is why when I'm on a bike, a smaller vehicle that occupies less space on the road, I always make sure to be careful of these blind spots, especially in the bigger vehicles like trucks. I've even had like near collisions with bikes. Like I'm on a scooty and there's a bike right next to me and the bike doesn't see me because beyond the peripheral eye vision you can't see what's sort of behind you your mirror may or may not not all nepalese people unfortunately have the habit of looking at their mirrors even on bikes and cars and as a result i've had many instances where bikers just swerve towards me and i'm sort of in their blind spot and i can tell and there's like a momentary mini heart attack close call situation where i'm just like hey buddy just you can't do that like I don't know, it's just a Nepali thing, I think. So, again, blind spots are real. Uh, you can't really not do anything about it. And then... Oh, 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 oh. And then there are some countermeasures to driving safe. And that is having one of those convex mirrors in your cars. 